formally suspend the school board for basically failing to do their job. Bighorn County Attorney Jean Torsky didn't mince words addressing county commissioners Thursday morning as she detailed reasons for official misconduct charges against all three Wyola school board members. The school board has failed to properly conduct open meetings. Those meetings, according to court documents, happened back on May 9th and 15th, just a week after the three were elected to the board. Most of the reasons given were for violations against parents, including sending letters to some, barring them from extra and co-curricular activities, as well as on-campus meetings with no legal reason attached. That is a direct violation of the Crow Constitution. Um, that is a direct violation of the Indian Civil Rights Act. Superintendent of Public Instruction Elsie Arnson has been investigating the claims for several weeks. It's a safety issue. In other words, if students are in school and parents can't come into the building to give medication, even their homework being left off, how can we have parents that are banned? We don't know that yet. The board members have also been charged with multiple financial wrongdoings, including destruction of certain records and failing to pay into the teacher's retirement system. As of October 25th, they, had been, they were arrears into the, paying into the teacher's retirement system since June of 2023. Crow Tribal Prosecutor David Sibley said the three will appear in Crow Tribal Court on November 17th. Interim board members have already been named. In Billings, Casey Conlon, MTN News.